All right, we're getting ready to dewinterize this. In this episode of The Renegade Life, the weather is finally getting warmer here in Minnesota, so we tackle some projects on the bus. We also decide to take the boat out of the boathouse and sail on the water. Hey Gibson, look at the camera say, good morning. Good morning. So we have a ton of projects to get done on this before our 100 month anniversary trip coming up in. It's coming up in less than a month now. And uh, so we're in scramble mode. I got a lot of mechanical stuff I gotta take care of. So that's what I'm hitting today. I think we're also gonna try to de-winterize it. It was just like a little over a week ago here in Minnesota, we got hammered with a snowstorm, like 20 inches of snow. Finally, the weather's nice enough to work on the bus. Right, Gibson? Yeah. What are we gonna work on today? A bus over there. Yeah, the bus that's over there. Good stuff. All right, we're getting ready to dewinterize this. And what did we just do, Gibson? Back up. You can't be that close. <laughs> what did we just do to catch all of the antifreeze? I'm gonna put a jug in the boat. It's supposed to say we put a jug under the faucet to catch the antifreeze. So I'm not sure what that was. All right, now it's time for us to turn on the water and drain out all of the antifreeze. You coming on down? Okay, come on down. Okay. You gotta be careful. Turn the power onto our water pump so we can pump all the energy out. And it's this switch right here. Can you turn that switch up? Push it up. Good job. Okay, now we'll shut it off. All right, got most of the antifreeze drained out. Now it's time to hook up water and push the rest of it. Hey Gibson, where are you? Oh, there you are. It's okay. Finally got it completely dewinterized, at least for the water side of it. Uh, all the antifreeze is drained out. Faucets are working good. Woohoo! Uh, but we're doing good, although I found one sad. So our tub has cracked. Well, we're not going to be able to shower or take a bath with it in its current state. And here, look at it. You can see right here where we've repaired it before, but that crack goes all the way through. And last time I used a marine grade epoxy, hoping that that would do the trick, but that has cracked all the way through too. So we're gonna have to get creative on fixing this one. So last year we had a pretty big problem. A couple of our fuel hoses, these old steel braided hoses, 
are starting to crack and actually this one here and this one here were leaking last year. That's no good. I wrapped them in some of that emergency silicone repair tape which seemed to hold it pretty good. But let's get that taken care of before we hit the road this summer. Alright, let's get after this. This one's gonna be a pain. Yeah, got it. Yeah, you can probably see it was uh, starting to get a little gross underneath there. I got the wrong size in. And the project shall continue another day. And actually take them down to the store and fit them for the right size flare fitting. Alright, I got what I need from Hardware Hank of all places. Finally. Alright, let's get this finished. fuel hoses replaced. Yeah! Next up on this, wow, I hear a loop. <laughs> Next up on this fine windy day, we are going to put the boat in the water. It's officially summer. that we always try to do is we try to include our boys in the projects that we're doing in our, our everyday activities even when it does take a little bit longer to accomplish those things. Uh, we believe that it's really important to be involved in their lives and have them involved in our lives and not just uh, staying inside or playing with toys. Uh, we want to keep them safe uh, through this too but we want to keep them involved as well and uh, there's a lot of different studies that show that being really involved in your kids lives not hovering not like the crazy psychotic always 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 there but just being more involved in your kids lives helps them develop better socially they have higher job prospects uh, just a lot of amazing things so that's how we try to parent is by bringing them along with us in what we do so we got the boat into the water but ran into a little snag we, we pulled the trailer out pushed it out in the water it was getting ready to start it up and I go in there and I hit the switch for the engine to go down into the water and it's not going down. We're having trouble with the boat motor. It was so sad. We were so excited to go in the water, at least to take it for a spin. So we were really excited. Oh, the water came fell in the water again. Way to go, Gibson! Woohoo! Whoa! Good job! Excellent rescuing. So we got another project to put on the list, hopefully to get done within the next week. Well thanks for watching this week's episode of The Renegade Life. We hope that it's encouraged you and put a smile on your face. A special thanks to our Patreon family for helping support us in making these videos. If you'd like to find out how you could become a part of our Patreon family, check out the link in the description below. You can join for as little as $2 a month and you get some awesome perks. At the end of every episode, we like to give away a free sticker to the most creative comments to our question of the week. What's one project that you need to get done this summer? We'll be choosing our favorite answer three days after this video posts. We love you guys, we hope you have an awesome week, and we'll see you next Tuesday.